Hi guys, I'm doing an impromptu live here in our in our Facebook community. You know, I was like, I need to get a training on the books for this month. And also, um, I was like, it would just be, there's, this is the space where I'm like, this is longer than an Instagram video, but where I can actually provide value. And this might actually resonate with some of you. We are, I am coming up for air from a pretty big move, um, which is funny because I have, well, let me just, let me just back. Let me just pause here for a second. What are you listening to today? I think this is going to be fun. I think maybe I'm going to go with this whole sequence of a Monday quickie. So on Monday mornings, I'll pop in with like some sort of life or business tip that might serve you or your business or any of the things. So today I would like to chat about three tips if you are running a business and going through major life transitions, <laughs> much like I have in this past week um, as we have gone through this big move. So fun fact, I have moved at least over 20 times in my 38 years of life. I feel like I'm built for it. I feel like um, I, I adapt really well to change. Like I got this. And yet I've also never done it with twin toddlers, with managing expectations and emotions with a romantic partner and while running a business. I have done it before while running a business, but not with that whole conglomerate of things happening. So it's been it's been kind of a doozy if we're like shooting you straight. It's been a lot. We still have like mattresses that need to come get picked up that are getting hauled away tomorrow. Um, we're still putting together furniture because we really upgraded our space. We have a lot more space now than we did before. So just all the like good, good, growing pains that I that I asked for that I manifested for a year. So the three tips that I have for you today are if you are running a business, it can feel pretty overwhelming, especially with trying to unpack and all of those things. Um, this also applies if you're going through something really hard, like if you're going through grief and you're like, how do I operate in my business? The three tips are number one, take care of your non-negotiables. Number two, grace around putting the pause button on growth for right now. And three, find a future anchor point that will get you excited. So I'm going to elaborate on those. Number one, taking care of your non-negotiables. So for me, what this looks like is I have a current client roster. I have clients that I serve <laughs> both um, on one-on-one -on -one levels and in our group mastermind. So if nothing else, I need to come to those appointments clear ready to go, ready with like to serve them within that time frame. The nice thing is it's a finite time. Like these are just, you know, I see people for 45 minutes to an hour and then it's on to the next thing for the day. Um, if you have a different type of business and, and, you know, and the other thing I put in there was um, deliver your deliverables if you're running a business. So, you know, I know that every Monday I get a newsletter out, so that's got to happen. I have some modules that I prepare for my mastermind. That's got to happen. But things that don't have to happen is like an elaborate business strategy for the next month or um, like going all in on social media growth right now. That doesn't have to happen at this exact time. So maybe it does look like other levers of your business get to pull back a little bit. And you really know the things that move the needle forward for you. So what I would like to say is for whatever business you're in, Find those one to three things that you have to do either daily or weekly that are non-negotiable. And there's really not as many as you think. So if you can just give yourself the like tunnel vision of I just have to do these things and all the other stuff can wait, you'll be, you'll be 10 steps ahead of the game, I promise. The second thing was um, this has taken me a long time to master. This would have sent me in a full-blown like workaholic, um, overproductive <laughs> tailspin a couple years ago, but, um, really giving myself grace that this is not at this current moment, a season of growth for my business. I am serving my clients well, and I am moving an entire household over the course of two weeks with twin toddlers and trying to be a mom and my in-laws from Denmark are here. So really giving yourself grace that if you are in a season of hard or big transition or any of those things, maybe it just needs to have like a slight pause button on 
this is not the season we like 10x our goals or like the slight edge or the compound of you know like all those like mega production books um so just give yourself a little grace around that the time will come the other cool thing about that is usually when there's like really massive upheaval that season is what catapults you into the next season so know that like if I can be proof for you and any hardship that I've gone through on the other side of this like to be cliche the the caterpillar in the cocoon moment is exponential growth exponential growth and then the third one is find a future anchor point that can get you excited so what this looks like for me because you know I'm not in a season of growth right now a lot of balls are in the air it's like well how do I find my footing I get support and so what I did is I knew this was coming, this, this move, and I found two support areas in my business that would really serve me. So I joined a fun, just like very low pressure um, money mastery group, just because I that, that will help kind of keep some finite stuff going. But then for the long-term vision, I really pushed myself out of my comfort zone to learn a new skill set in my business as I come out of this. So that group starts next week when we will be unpacked and it will be something that I can really sink my teeth into to feel like to feel like I'm getting wins in my business again <laughs> because you know it, it I am getting a lot of wins with like unpacking and being a mom but I'm not really feeling a lot of wins as it pertains to my business right now so really digging my teeth into something a new skill set that I'm not used to and that's going to be in the social media world for me because I'm I haven't really done a lot of social media this past year um, feels exciting. It feels like I have some space to ground into. So that's your little Monday morning quickie. Those three tips. If you are running a business and going through a major life transition and get some sleep, find, find, find times to sleep. <laughs> that's the other one for life. All right. Have a great week.